Hey everybody, it's Tony the Blacksmithing Gamer, and here we do everything from blacksmithing to 3D printing to bring the things inside the video games into the real world. This week, we're continuing off of one of my most popular projects, which is Byleth's Sword of the Creator. So if you're making a Byleth cosplay, I'm adding two more things to your cosplay if you want them. His or her necklace and dagger. Let's get started. I'll show you how we made them. We're all done printing Bilas Dagger here. We have it right here. Uh, this is the, uh, I'll call it belt holster, um, or belt holder. I printed a, a little hole that you could put a little rivet through or uh, sew it on, uh, if you have a, depending on what kind of belt you have. This basically just goes on like that. But first I'm gonna paint this guy, well first I'm gonna prime it, and then paint it and also paint this guy as well for the uh, necklace so let's get started on those and uh, we'll show you the finished product soon We have Violet's dagger here. Um, I just gave it a coat of primer. I'm just going to uh, paint it now. And uh, one thing I, because I, I, I made one of these before, and I found that when I put the paint on a little bit too thick in my model, um, the sheath that goes over it actually has a little bit of trouble, and and so you know can scratch the paint. So just be careful when you're painting this guy. Um, not to put it on too thick, um, feel free to sand it down or whatnot, just to make sure, uh, just test fit the uh, sheath uh, periodically, just to make sure you don't scratch off any of the paint. I usually uh, put a, a bit of clear coat uh, on it as well, just to give it a little bit extra protection, but you know, when it's scratching it, you know, it's, uh, it, could, it can come off. So, uh, just be aware of that when you're painting this guy, but uh, let's paint it up and uh, give it a, a bit of clear. Let's go.
so a couple things about the necklace here. I did put a, uh, I did put a loop in the back, so if you had a, wanted to wear it as a necklace or uh, anywhere else, you do have a loop to put some uh, rope or string through. Uh, I also did put a little indent if you wanted. To, it looks like a tassel or a piece of uh, cloth that hangs down underneath it. Um, you know, you can actually do that. Uh, attach it there and that way it's not it's still flush another couple notes with the dagger I did put a holder for if you wanted to attach it to a belt which is what it's attached to in, uh, in pictures at, at a glance um, and there's a little hole there if you wanted to rivet it or anything or attach it with a string uh, that's an option there for you as well it is also removable so if you wanted to take this out use it, this section as a holster that as well so let me know how that works for you if you do put any cosplays together with these guys let me know I'd love to see them so we're back again with our cosplay segment if you have a cosplay that you want to share leave a comment in the section below and here's this week's this is Berna Kenshin she's a professional cosplayer and a makeup artist from the New Mexico area Here's her in an amazing Richard Belmont cosplay from Castlevania. She does such a great job on all the little details of her costumes. Whether it's the ripped sleeves on her Richard, or the details on the vertical maneuvering equipment. Some of the props she used were my design, so if you did want to check those out, I do have videos how I made my versions of them. Or feel free to check her out on any of her Facebook or Instagrams located here. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button down there below. Or if you want to follow me on any of these social media websites, you can get daily updates on the projects I'm working on. Thanks again for watching. I'm Tony, the Blacksmith Gamer, where every week we're making things from the games we love.